Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to see if I can improve on this painting that I did, um, I don't know, a couple of months or so ago. I'm going to see if I can get my composition um, a little bit better than it is here. So, first of all, I am going to use one of my um, colour wheels to pick out my colours that I want to use and for this one I want Scarlet Lake you can choose a red this is um, Scarlet Lake it's, it's kind of a would I call it a cool red I'd call it more of a leaning towards a warm red And it's Scarlet Lake. And then the only other thing I really need are a couple of greens. So we will go with Olive Green. There we have our olive green. And so, so that we can get some dark in there, I think we'll go with Emmeline green. looks really nice against the Scarlet Lake in actual fact. So let's just pop that one in there. So Caroline Green. So those are our three colours. I now need a palette. Okay, this has got a bit of a leftover colour on it, but I'm going to be using this palette today. And I just want to see what happens when they mix together. So, Scarlet Lake and Perylene Green give us this kind of deep, dark, Ready brown. That's not too bad though. And then let's mix our red with our olive green. And we get a kind of a similar colour, but this is definitely more uh it's brighter, it's not so much on the red side, it's more orangey. And then all that that leaves me to do is mix the olive green and the perylene green, which should give me a in-between green, which it does. Okay, so those are the colours that I am going to be using. I might use them very much watered down. So if we, in places, so let's just try them watered down. There we go. So um, that's them at their playlist. They're at full strength there, and then half and half to get um, our colours in the middle there. So 
Let me pop that to one side for a moment. Now, compositionally wise, I think that kind of went a little bit wrong. I do quite like these stringy bits coming up. Um, I'm wondering whether um, whether in fact I needed them to kind of be a bit more diagonal with those either side. I'm very fond of the diagonal. So um, this isn't going to be my finished painting yet again. This is me um, practicing doing this in a slightly different way. So um, let's get some brushes. I think Let's get our size 12 Escoda Perla. Where's my smaller one? There you are. My size 8. I think I'm going to be using those today. And um, let's get a, let's make a bit of a border. Because everything looks better when it's got a bit of a border. So we'll just pop that there. And then that one there. And we can pop that one there. And our final one across the top here. And let's just grab a few clips to keep this in place. Like that. Right. So let's try again. I think I'm going to start by using my big brush and I'm going to get some of these flowers in using our Scarlet Lake. So I'm just going to use my brush to make some of these shapes. There's one. Now I'm just adding a bit of water to my brush, nothing else. And yeah, if we go this way, we can have one there. Let's add a bit more water. And we can have. One that's a bit kind of smaller and so these are all kind of blowing this way and we'll go a bit darker again Don't want them to look too um, organised. So yeah, maybe something like that, and maybe we'll have a few that are good, just going to be buds. So we'll pop a few that look a little bit like buds in here. Oh, it's not gone the right shape. That's a bit better. Okay, so we've got those. Now let's move down to a smaller brush. 
and we can take let's take some of our darker perylene green and I just want to get some of these lines coming in I'm um, just putting these lines in with our dark green. That one is coming off of there. Bit more green on my brush. Maybe we'll have that one quite long going down there. Okay, so now let's move on to our olive green and start to get some of these um, leaves in. As I said, this is still an experiment really. But I think it's good to be sharing our processes. Yeah, we can have one coming out there. Like so. them to look too organized do we let's try and ring the changes a little bit So we're just getting a few of those um, leaves in. I'm going to do these with the Pebio Ceremony leaf this time, I think. Now, I could do with, um, well, actually, let's use our coloured pencils and Pebio Cerm relief and um, other things to bring this out um, a little bit more but where I've mixed up those colours where this is still wet I might just so I'm just using the paint that's on my palette where I mixed the Scarlet Lake with some other colours the greens and I got those kind of ready brown colours I'm just putting a drop of that in the bottom here to give it a bit more dimension. Yeah, I think that helps. So they don't look quite so um, they don't look quite so flat. 
Right, let's dry that off, see what we've got and move on. OK, that is pretty much dry. So um, I think I need to darken these leaves up a little bit. So I'm going to use my dark, dark sap green luminance pencil. And I'm just going to go round some of them and maybe just give a little bit of interest here like this. Yes, I'm quite liking that. This one, I think I'll just draw around or just inside. I'm not trying to stay in the lines as you can see. I'm just giving them some some shape. And adding to the the dark element, really, I suppose you might call it. There, I think that has really helped with those. Oh, let's let's get you in there, like that. So I think that really helps. Right, what did I use before? I used some white pebiosome relief, some red. Looks like I used some silver. So let me, actually it might not have been pebiosome relief, thinking about it. It might have been, uh, there we go, there's, there's our white. I think, I think I used the abstract Sennelio 3D liner. There's my there's my red, red, white, and silver. So we need silver. I'll be in the Pebio Sam relief. So let's just find some silver silver okay there we have it so let us see what we can now do so let's start with our white and we will just add A bit more interest here. With some of these leaves. Looking rather nice. There we go. So we've got some of the white in there. Now the red I used on the flowers. Where is a scrap piece of paper? There we go. Just want to see how that is going to squeeze out. No, we're all right. It's squeezing out. Okay. So let's get some stamens going on there we go so let's 
So I'm doing the dots first and then kind of pulling down. Not sure I'm liking it that much, to be honest. It's not coming out as fine as I would like it. Let's try doing it the other way. Mm-hmm. So we've got some red ones there. Maybe we will do some with our silver. Just to ring the changes, really. Oops. Are you going to work? Looks like you've got a bit bunged up, doesn't it? Let's get the cloth. There we go. Perfect. So let's try doing our stamens on some of these with the silver. It's not a realistic painting by any means. just an impression of so I'm not worried about any of this I'm looking perfect okay so we've got some that are red some that are silver perhaps we could put a little silver top on these buds There we go, we've only got three buds, haven't we? Yeah. Hope my head wasn't getting in the way again. Okay, and then and then what I want to do is put in some of these wavy lines, or do I? Hmm. Nope, let's go for it. Okay, so get you going. So I'm doing it slightly differently in that. We have got our wavy lines like so. And then if I take my silver. I want that to kind of mingle a bit. And I want to get some swirly bits in. like that. Ooh. I think I also need some splats. Let's get my bigger brush and go for the green. Okay. Now, do I like that better or worse than? I think I need something darker in this corner. Let us go back to our Caroline Green. And go over. Mm. 
Yeah, I just need it to be darker. So I think just a real dark bit at the bottom there. I think that will be better. Now I need to do something a bit more with my flowers. Where's my reds? What colour are you? Scarlet. Okay. So I'm just going to get some more detail. on these flowers just a little bit as they say right let's pop you there so I've used a bit of a mixture of materials today I've used a couple of luminance pencils and a couple of Pebio Serum Reliefs in silver and white and this Sennelier 3D liner, which is rather nice. So let us, let's move the paints out of the way for a minute, like so. Let's, because this obviously is quite distracting. Let's take this off now because anything else that we do is going to be small detail, really. Let's take that off. So that we don't have the distraction. And we've definitely got a kind of a triangle shape, except I need it to point a bit more up here. And I can see that now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in only because I want it to go this is a bit disappointing I really love these but they are not playing ball today. They seem to have dried a little bit, but we'll see. Right, I need to move that up. And I'm just going to have it point up. Up to a corner a little bit more. And then I've kind of got what we might call the triangular composition. And it's not half bad. I don't know, though. Do you prefer this one? I might have to zoom out a bit with my, um, with my camera. Let's... Let's zoom out a bit so we can get all that in. There we go. This one or that one. Mm. Choices, choices. It's always good to do things several times and um, just try lots of different things out until you maybe come up with the composition that you like. I think I miss, I, I quite like those wiggly lines. I know I've done something different this time, but never, never mind. It is all practice, practice, practice. Try things out. I like the fact that this one has got some real darks at the bottom. It's giving a much better um, composition that way. But yeah, maybe I should have not done those and done our stringy bits. 
Okay, I may have to do this one again, which will obviously be my third time lucky. But I am not here to pretend to be perfect. I'm here to just share and hope that it gives you some enjoyment or gives you an idea to um, do something for yourself. There we go. Okay. Um, stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay calm until I see you next time. And um, yes, thanks so much for watching.